Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm finally getting around to doing the video that I've been wanting to do for you guys for about a year now, which is on how I basically have gotten a more even texture of skin, how I've been able to combat hyperpigmentation, how I've been getting more glowy skin, because all of you guys seem to keep mentioning that my hyperpigmentation is a lot better, my skin looks a lot better too, and it is honestly because of these two products. This is, that they're, they're both by a company called Paula's Choice, which you guys actually told me about. I remember maybe over a year ago, I guess I posted something in one of my YouTube videos asking about products that really help with textured skin and hyperpigmentation, dull skin, etc, etc. And I got an overwhelming number of people saying Paula's Choice. So I gave their, their products a chance, but what I did is that I actually tweeted them asking and sort of having a consult that way. And they led me to these two products, and I cannot say enough good things about it. I swear by these products, and I mean, I've literally been using them for about a year now, so I feel like I really do know a lot about them. Um, so, the problems that I was trying to combat. My skin, even though I don't have acne per se, is very textured. It's never flat. It never looks um, even. You know, it's always like if I take my hand, I can feel like little bumps, etc., even though they don't really show much and even though they don't really have a, a color different than my skin color but because of that I think when you wear makeup it's even more noticeable when you have like rough skin you know and that was problem number one problem number two was that I don't have any I didn't at this point like when I tried these out last year I didn't have any product for acne in general so even though I don't get like giant spurts of acne like I like everybody else would get like little breakouts that it might look little but without treatment they got gigantic and those are the ones that are like from within your skin that like hurt and that were like so red and it would just stay there forever and when it was gone, giant blemish. And then also, if you guys remember, I had this giant blemish right here which has gotten so much better. So that was a huge pimple just like what I mentioned, like those really giant red ones. And that in itself stayed there for like over a month but when it left, it left this awful dark brown spot that just would not get faded. So. That was my giant concern as well. So the first one is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid Salicylic Acid. So with the BHA, I had never really used any BHA product before. I'd always sort of heard of AHAs, um, which are alpha hydroxy acids. BHAs are beta hydroxy acids. The difference is that AHAs are better for dry skin, sun damaged skin, uh, thick skin, um, and overall, you know, none, none of those concerns are really mine. BHAs are better for people who have oily skin because they are oil soluble, whereas AHAs are water soluble. So that means that basically these products that have BHAs that are formulated correctly can really get into the pores, and usually that's where all your problems are found. They can really sort of um, get through, even if you have like oily, oily skin pores, things that sort of, you know, are not easy to penetrate and get into the root of the problem. So these go in far deeper into your skin than an AHA would. So I have used AHAs before, I like them, but this is a winner. Let me explain to you why. So this has salicylic acid, which is the acne treatment that a lot of products have, and I'm familiar with it, I've used it, I know that my skin reacts well to it. So salicylic acid is also derived naturally, or at least it can be, it can also be derived, um, not naturally, I guess, more man-made, but there are ways for it to also be a natural ingredient, but this is probably the most popular ingredient found in acne products, so you already know that it's going to target acne. But what I started to do is, as Paula's Choice told me, I did exactly what they told me to do, which was to put this on a cotton round or pad or whatever after you've washed your face and use this in the morning and night and you'll see results. But they didn't mention purging, which to me is actually common sense because I've used so many acne products before, that purging always happens. That means that your skin gets worse before it gets better. Everything that's inside comes out to the surface so it starts to show for about a week and then your skin starts to get better. So that's exactly what happened at first. I started to freak out and I was like, oh my God, this product is not working. I have all these bumps, my skin looks horrible and all of that. But within a week, it started to go down and then it virtually just disappeared. And my skin now feels so much smoother than ever before. And I cannot say enough good things about this. So this product, it basically says that it creates radiant, even toned skin, reduces redness and builds collagen, unclogs and diminishes enlarged pores. So I don't think it really changed the size of my pores as far as I've been told and that I've researched. You can't really do much about your pore size, especially people who have oily skin. Your pores just tend to be larger in general. So I haven't seen any difference with that. 
the biggest difference that I've seen with this is that it really makes my skin a lot more even textured, not toned. Like toned is a different product and I'll show you guys about that as well. But it really, really took down all those bumps, all that inflammation, etc. And also a really, really awesome thing about this is that it's amazing for acne. As I've mentioned, I mean, I don't get too much acne, but I do get those, you know, pimples here and there. And every single time that I have felt one coming on, that I've seen one, I always use this and boom, it's just gone. So I love that. There are two different ways to use this. You can definitely put this in a cotton pad and rub this all over. You can also take it out in your hand. And it's like, it's like water. It literally looks like water, feels like water, smells like water. There's no smell to it, which is awesome. And it's like literally you just rub that in here and just sort of rub it all over your face. So you can do it that way too. When I use this by itself, I do it with a cotton pad way, but there's other ways too. Then, so now that my skin has gotten used to this, it's amazing. And now that I know that this specifically targets acne and specifically targets textured skin, I started to use this in conjunction to give me a glow and to remove that dullness that my skin kind of has always had. So this is a C15 Super Booster. It is 15% uh, vitamin C. It also has vitamin C and ferulic acid as well. So I had heard a lot about vitamin C products, but I've never used them. I always sort of felt like I was too young for it, but this in conjunction with this is awesome. This is especially good for fading discoloration. It's amazing. This is what helped me with that spot like beyond anything that I've ever imagined. The other giant benefit of this product is glowy skin. Glowy skin is something that I have wanted to achieve for years and that's never been possible for me because I have such oily skin, but it's still very dull. And I wanted that glow without all those extra products to get that because my skin just cannot do that with, you know, having oily skin, it just never lasts. So this is what has given me that. So much so that last year when I was using these products and it was sort of newer to me, I'd maybe I was in the third month or so, I knew that my skin looked better, but I hadn't really heard anything from anybody else so far. But my cousin was here visiting and she was like, your skin looks amazing, I don't know what you've done. And then I actually saw her again in India a few months later and when I'm traveling I'm so bad about my skincare so I wasn't using this and she was like my god what did you do because whatever you were using when I was there I mean your skin was just glowing and this is that product and it was even more obvious because I was using a lot of cream foundations or a lot of powder foundations too during the summer because of how oily all this stuff made me and I still looked like I had a, a nice glow to my skin and powder products make it pretty difficult to achieve that so that was amazing also this is a vitamin C product, so you, you probably want to store it in the fridge if you can, if not in a cooler area. If you live in a really dry, or I mean in a really humid, hot place, you are definitely going to have to store this in the refrigerator for sure. Um, and if you're afraid of it going bad, especially because it's pretty expensive, you can get samples. I think Polish Choice gives samples for pretty much everything. You do have to pay for them, but the sample of this was $9, and that's what I got before I bought this because I was so unsure, and I know that most skincare does not work for me, so I wanted to make sure it really would, so I didn't want to pay that, that big price tag. So you can go in there, buy samples of everything to try it out, and it still is free shipping. So just like an extra little tidbit of info. So the way that they told me to use these two together, and I've never used this separately, is I open this, and I just take out some in my hand, and then, you know, it feels like water, and then you open this, and there's a dropper and you just drop out three to five drops in your hand and then you, what I do is I just rub it together like this and put this on with my fingers and rub it into my skin. And then for specific targeted areas that you really want like extra help with, you just go in with a drop of that just in your finger and pat that on top. So it's already in it with this and then that's like an extra layer. So these two products together have helped so much with discoloration. This is the product that I think has taken away that discoloration and pigmentation that I have had like it's not perfect but it's gotten a lot better because of this so I've only used this in conjunction with this but I cannot say enough good things about it so if you have really dull skin which I think that people who have really dry skin tend to struggle with that and people who are darker tend to struggle with that so if you have dull skin problems or you know spots that you want to fade if they're acne spots whatever sunspots definitely use this also this is vitamin C so make sure you use a sunscreen with this so what I do is that last year when my skin was really, really bad, I was using this morning and night um, together, but it does make your skin pretty oily, especially in the morning, so you would, you know, wash your face, tone with this, um, with these two products together. I consider this a toner, but you can also use a separate toner if you want to, so I would use this before that, and you need to leave a few minutes between every step, 
and then you moisturize and I, even with the primer and all that kind of stuff my skin still got very very oily and you have to use an SPF so I just felt like it was too many products in the morning time and when I was working you know full time outside my home then it was I just felt like my, my makeup didn't look the same as hours progressed so I started to use the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation which is incredible for oil control and that's the whole reason I bought that foundation to work with these products so be warned that it, it will make your skin oily so due to that, now that my skin has gotten better and it's gotten so used to these products, I don't really have to use it as much. I only use this at night, but I use this every night that I don't use my kids' skincare collagen mask. So it's either that or these products. I use these probably about five days a week and, the, and that product about two days a week. But like Monday, Friday, then, you know, this in the center of the week. So that's how I like to wear this. And I can seriously say it's the best thing ever for my skin. Obsessed with it. If you guys had these problems, definitely try it. And then I got it from Paula's Choice website, but do not pay full price. If you do a Google search on um, coupon codes for these products, you will definitely find something. I believe this is about 20 something dollars, 23 maybe. If not, I'll obviously sure tell you guys what it really is. And then this is more expensive. This, this was $45, but I got a coupon code and I was able to get this a lot cheaper. And I think it's always free shipping too. So. I mean, I love them. And also, if you are unsure, because they have such a huge variety of products that seem to differ just like by the tiniest little amount, I think that you guys should tweet them, write them something, sort of, you know, find out. They're really good at their social media, so they'll really help you because I knew I wanted to get this, but I didn't know what to get, you know, to kind of rid myself of that textured skin. And they're the ones who, you know, sort of walked me into this product. So they were super, super helpful. I tweeted them for like a good week before making my decision. They answered every single one of my questions. So I would definitely talk to somebody before you buy something because they have a ton of products. And if you don't, you're going to be super, super confused unless you know exactly what you want, in which case that would be awesome. I also found a super useful blog post on this specific product that I will link down below. So if you guys have more questions I might not have gotten into because they're not really my skin concern, definitely check that blog post out. I kind of found it randomly, but I thought it was super, super helpful if you guys are looking into a product like this. Also, I wanted to let you guys know I'm going to be doing, since my bridal tutorial just went crazy and everybody loved it so much, I wanted to do more of those, but I wanted to also incorporate like other cultures, like um, like Muslim weddings that are like that, because I'm Hindu and I obviously know what we do, but I have a lot of Muslim friends and they have a lot of events as well. So I'm gonna be doing basically a South Asian wedding series. So if you guys have any ideas of what I should name this or how I should go about it, please let me know. All comments and questions are always, always helpful to me so I know kind of what what to do. I'm going to be filming one of them on my friend later this week and having that up next week, but I kind of wanted to do every single ceremony like Mendi, Sangeet, Bitti, um, Haldi, um, Sitara, if, you know, if you're Muslim, you guys would know what I'm talking about, um, Vidai for us, reception, like all these different things. I just didn't know what to name it. So let me know what you guys think about this idea. This would be something that you'd want to watch. And thank you guys so much for everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.